Chopboard, so I can help you. A chopping board, so I can help you as much as I can. As much as I can. Hi, Lulu. Hello, everybody. Hi, Leona. Thanks for joining us today. Hola, Bere. So, welcome to my cocina. Yo, las cocina. We're back again, you guys, because of course this mensa deleted our video, our live video yesterday uh, Yesterday of our recipe. So, <clears throat> ayer, no sé qué me pasó, y borré el video de ayer. So, no todos podían compartir el video ayer. So, hoy vamos a hacer unas tortas de chorizo. So, we're going to do some tortas de chorizo today, since not everybody was able to share my video yesterday, so they could get on in into the rifa, the raffle, okay? So, um, esto es para que todos puedan entrar a la rifa. So, los que comparten, somos, si somos más de 20 personas compartiendo hoy, voy a rifar. Where is the gift? Did I leave it aside? Yeah. Ok, espérame. Voy a rifar algo para mañana. Mañana, que es Día de las Madres, tengo algo muy bonito para mañana. Ok. So tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I am raffling something, and you don't even have to be a mother. Está bien, si no, si no son madres, es ok, le puedo regalar a alguien, o eso es lo que voy a rifar. Es de Tupperware, y lo puede poner en el microwave. Qué bonita. ¿Verdad? El traste. Ok, so this is what I'm going to be raffling, you guys. It's a Tupperware. It's a microwaveable Tupperware. Sí. And it has a little um, airway here, so you could also uh, vaporize your um, verduras, like your vegetables or whatever you want to use it for. So this is what I'm raffling if we get 20 or more shares. So make sure you let me know that you have shared my video today. Since we didn't have a get, we didn't get a chance yesterday, everybody to uh, share the video. So me avisan si ya compartieron el video para que pueden entrar a la rifa, okay? Ahí tenemos los nombres de ayer, todavía, so todavía están en la rifa. I have those names jotted down already for those who shared yesterday, okay? So here we go. By the way, I'm so excited because I want to show you guys my new toy. Woo! I got a new light, you guys. Si les gusta mi luz? That's my new toy today. Okay, so here we go. So first things first, you're going to need your chorizo. So I bought these, and this is a nine ounce chorizo, okay? You could buy any brand, al gusto. Si le gusta esta, este uh, marca de chorizo, está bien. Estas son de nueve onzas. Nosotros somos mucha familia. We have a lot of family, so usamos demasiado chorizo. So of course, for your household of five or more, you're probably only gonna need to use about three or two of these, two or three, max, I'm sure. Um, or more, it depends on how many people you have and if they like to have one or more, um, one or more um, <laughs> uh, tortas. Okay, so your chorizo, this is one, el chorizo. Okay, and then, of course, and I'm gonna bring you guys over here, right this way. So, we have a local uh, Mexican store here. Um, and for those who don't know, I live in California. I live in Pittsburgh, California. For those who don't know, we have a local store here, and I picked up this pan bolillo, freshly made today. So this is what else you're gonna need. So pan bolillo, this is pan bolillo. This is what you're gonna make your tortas out of. See? All right, so of course, we're a lot of us, so I had to pick up a lot. <laughs> A lot of um, bread so we're gonna go we're gonna come back over here so in the meantime while we're going to come over to where they're cooking the um, where we're cooking the chorizo. so here's our chorizo you guys so what you're gonna do is you're going to heat up your pan you're gonna heat up your pan hot remember chorizo has a lot of oil already so do not add any oil to your pan heat it up you're going to obviously open this up, throw your chorizo in how many ever packages you will use for your household, okay? So then you're gonna cook it. I like it very, I like it cooked very well. So a mí me gusta que me lo cosan bien, bien, bien cocido. Casi quemadita, like a little bit of burnt, like on the bottom. 
because I like my chorizo really crispy. So depending on you, it takes about maybe 10, 15 minutes to cook up all this chorizo. It doesn't take long at all. So if you see, here we go. If you see how um, this is just boiling it up and you wanna just cook it, you wanna make sure it's cooked well done though because it's pork meat, right? So you don't wanna get sick either. So you wanna make sure you're gonna cook it over here in your pan and while that is cooking, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start cutting. All right. And of course I have my friend Tammy here today. Hey Tammy. Hi everybody. She's helping me out and her daughter cooking, um, I mean cutting up um, the, the vegetables. So what we're gonna be using, so when you do your tortas, I also would recommend to grill them or toast your um, bread. So I myself have a little um, a griddle, electrical griddle. So I'm gonna turn that on in a little bit to show you guys how we you know put them on there and toast them. Also, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some tomatoes, if you like tomatoes, onions, repollo, cabbage, or lechuga, lettuce. I like lechuga and my family lettuce, and my family likes cabbage. So we're gonna do both today. So once again, um, onions, tomatoes, cabbage, or lettuce, okay? So um, also, um, let me come over here and show you just a little grill that I have. So let me just turn the camera around real quick. All right, perfect. So this is my griddle here. See, I have the electrical griddle. I'm sure everybody has one of these. We'll be turning it on in just a little bit so we could grill our um, or toast our breads, okay? So lo vamos a prender a ratito para podemos a, um, tostar el pan. Because it tastes a lot better, you guys, with the bread toasted. I kid you not. So much better. All right. Something you can really see your mom back there. So let's turn the camera and then you do it this way. But I need you to, let's see. Let me just give a really quick shout out. So, hey, Sylvia. So remember, share, share, share. Like, 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 you guys. That way you guys could be entered in the uh, raffle. And let me know that you have shared it already, please. Me avisan si ya compartieron para ponerlos en la rifa. Por favor, comparten, comparten. Hi, Sylvia. Hey, Sax, you're crazy. Hey, Yvette. Hey, cousin. Marissa. Thank you. I have Leona Ibarra Phillips already shared the video. Um, Adriana. I have um, Leona Ibarra Phillips. Hi, Margarita. Hola, Señora Maria. Como están? Comparten, comparten, please. Hey, Lisa, I love you, cousin. Did you guys share? Let me know if you shared. I have Maria Garcia. Thank you, Mari. I appreciate for you sharing, Lupita. I have uh, Vero Gallardo, my comadre. She already shared. Lulu. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Share, share, share so you could be entered in one of the raffles, okay? Hey, Antoinette girl. Let me know if you guys share the video, you guys, because that way you could be entered in the raffle. Let me show you the gift in case those who just came on. This is going to be the gift that we're raffling. It's a Tupperware. It's a microwavable Tupperware. So here we go. Real Tupperware. Real Tupperware. This is not the, you know, uh, what is it called? The knockoffs. The knockoffs. No, this is real Tupperware. Hey, David. Congratulations. So we're making tortas of chorizo today. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start cutting up these vegetables. Here you go. I'm going to give it back to our camera woman here. So, so far we have the tomatoes cut up already. And then um, you're going to do um, really, really thin slices. So we got this. And you can slice up your veggie however you want. You know, some of them, some of us like it really thin. Some of them like it thick. You can slice it up however you want. Then, of course, you're going to do your repollo, okay? They like the repollo really thinly sliced, which my hand is not good for this. So I'm just gonna kind of just show you real quick. Oops. Repollo is kind of, um, it's too bitter for me. I really don't like it, but, but my family really does love it. So you're gonna put, you're gonna cut it up fine like this. Sorry, my hands just not, they don't work. Okay. And then I'm gonna have Tammy finish this off once we're done with this. So you're just gonna cut it up fine, just like this. 
Yes, by the way, there is tofu chorizo. Those who do not want to eat any kind of meat or pork or that are vegetarian, there is tofu chorizo, and they say it's very good. I've never had it myself, but I'm sure it's good. So you're gonna want your, your um, you wanna shred it like this, or cut it up like this. This is your cabbage, okay? So I'm just gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna let Tammy finish up the rest of that. Oh, wait, sorry, that's gonna go here. This is gonna be for our onions. Let me rinse this off real quick. So while Tammy finishes that off, we're gonna come over here and turn on. So ahorita nomás estamos cortando la verdura mientras que está el chorizo. What are you looking for? Other one. Okay. So All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting up our fun. Okay, so what you're gonna do, of course, you're gonna go right into here. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn on my griddle here. I'm gonna turn it to, uh-oh. I'm gonna turn it to, oh geez, I think we need a cover. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on to 350, or excuse me, 300. And then I'm going to cut up my fun, just like this. A lot of people like to take out this middle part. I don't. I love that. You can if you want. Mucha gente le gusta quitar un poquito del, de adentro. A mí no me gusta así. A mí me gusta así en así. So we're going to put these on here, okay? You could add a little bit of butter if you want to make it toasty. I just put them on there like that. So we're going to cut up these breads. Get them nice and toasty for our... Tortas. Take a look at the chorizo over here. It smells so yum, you guys. It smells so good. Remember, remember, share, share, share. If you want to be entered in the raffle for tomorrow for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all las madrecitas. Muchas felicidades para mañana. Primeramente Dios, vamos a hacer la rifa mañana. Si comparten 20 o más personas. 20 o más personas. So, comparten el like, por favor, mi gente. Estoy muy agradecida. Okay. So, we're going to stick these all on here. Pa' que se tuestan. Tostaditas. Y el pan, les digo que apenas lo compré y apenas había salido del, de, um, de, el oven. ¿Cómo se dice? De... Oh my gosh, help me out. Again. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! que no sé. All right. So, mientras que está tostando, tostando el pan, vamos a seguir con la verdura. Como les digo, a mí, I like lettuce. A mí me gusta la lechuga. A mi gente le gusta el repollo en las tortas. Realmente, en México, um, in Mexico, they always use the, the cabbage in their tortas. That's like real authentic cabbage. But I like lechuga. So I cut up both. We use both cabbage and, and um, lettuce on this. So, of course, again, your lettuce, you're going to cut up just like you cut up your, um, your cabbage. Fine. Sort of like a coleslaw fine. Yes, exactly. Sort of like a coleslaw fine. Like a shave, yes, like a shave. Behind the scenes. <laughs> and it's very hot here in California. For those who are not from California, it is burning up today. So I had to throw the hair up. So excuse the dews. And the sweatiness. The oiliness, I should say. I promise I took a shower. <laughs> So you want to cut it out, like I said, really fine, really thin. I just have a bad hand, so I can't cut it up as good as I would usually be able to cut up. All right. 
And of course, you're gonna clean very well. You're gonna clean it very well, your, um, all your, your veggies. Your lettuce, your tomatoes, your onions, make sure you clean them very, very, very well. You don't know what they're putting, what they're putting in our uh, food nowadays. Bien limpiado sus verduras antes que, que nada. Luis said that we had snow today. No! Where are you at? Wow. wow. That is crazy. Where are you from again? Remind me. Wow, that is just amazing. Snow, I can't imagine that. So you see, again, fine, pretty fine, and kind of shave uh, lettuce. You're gonna wanna have it exactly how Tammy's doing it over there. The repollo, the cabbage. She's having it um, sh like shaved basically because it's so much easier to eat also, you know? So I'm gonna mix it. I'm just gonna put on half and half. So here's our verdura. And then of course, you could always make your torta your way. This is just how we make it here, okay? In the Amaya's house. This is how we make it at Yola's Cocina. So we're gonna come right over here and I'm gonna go bring all this over here. Since we've already um, cut up and cleaned and washed our lettuce, everything is ready to prepare our torta. All right, so you see how nice and toasty they are? Oh, I cannot wait to bite into this. Bien tostaditas, si los ven? Bien tostaditas. Saben mucho más mejor cuando los cuestan. Y ya está el chorizo. You see the texture of the chorizo? That's how you want to make sure it's very, it's cooked very well. Chorizo, because it's pork meat, of course, right? We use pork. You could use beef if you like or soy. So you see the texture? You want to make sure it's cooked very well. So at least, como unos 15 minutos, ¿verdad? De perdido que lo cose. Because um, you want it clean, I mean, you want it cooked very, very, very well. So let this toast a little bit. Do we, have you been sharing? Anybody sharing? Liking? Hello, everybody. Oh, Louis, that's right. You live in where? Where do you live, Louis? Let me know, you guys, if you guys shared the video so I could have you enter in the raffle for tomorrow. I'll show you guys the gift again. It's a beautiful gift. You're not going to want to miss that out. Share, share, share. Okay, so this is looking very toasty. So see, you don't want it too burnt on this side, but you want it very toasty in the inside, okay? So we're going to come over here. And if you like, you could put either cream or if you like mayonnaise, you could add that, but we like it just like this. So we're gonna add our chorizo right to our bun. Brandy shared. Thank you, Brandy. We'll put you down, girl. Thank you so much. Luis is from Canada. Oh, that's right. Luis, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, no. That is so amazing. All right, so you wanna put enough chorizo so you can get every flavor of the chorizo in there. You don't wanna put it too much though, because it's kind of runny, as you see. Then you're gonna come over here and dress it up how you like it. Like I said, some of us like it with onions, some of us like it with no tomatoes, some of us like it with a lot of onions. Al gusto, si les gusta el tomate, si les gusta el, el, el um, cebolla. Cualquier verdura que les gusta echar aquí. All right, and then a mí me gusta la lechuga, so lo vamos a hacer. No, sabe que lo vamos a hacer de repollo. Porque el original es con repollo. So there we have our beautiful torta. You could also add cheese if you like queso. Si le gusta el queso, también le puede. Um, frijoles, frijoles fritos, también está muy bueno. O jamón, lo que ustedes le gustan. Aquí está, here it is. You could add beans, you could add ham if you like. You could add, um, like I said, cream or mayonnaise or whatever vegetables you like to um, add here. You make it your own. But this is how we like it in my home. So let's close this up and let's take a bite. Here we go. Mm-mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. This is finger licking good. Mmm. The chorizo has a great, great kick of spice. The onion in there, the repollo. Actually, it's not bad with repollo. I guess I'm just a lechuga girl, lettuce girl, when I'm used to having lettuce all the time with all my sandwiches. But actually, it's not really that bad. Let me go in again. Perfect. It's messy though. Beware. <laughs> so this is how we make our tortas in the Maya's house. Yo las cocina. I appreciate each and every one of you guys once again. May God bless and protect you and your family throughout all this quarantine. Excuse me, my mouth is all. And I would appreciate you if you share, 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 like, like, like. I love you, Brandy. Thank you, girl. All my part, all my Pittsburgh High um, alumni, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much um, because of you. I'm continuing to doing this, and for your support, I've been getting um, pretty good views. I want to continue to do this. So with your help, we could get this. We could get through this together. I really appreciate it. Once again, share, share, share so you could be entered in the raffle. I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to make sure I do not delete it this time. And um, I will jot everybody down who has um, shared the, um, the live. I'm going to leave it on till 12 o'clock midnight tonight. 12 a las 12 pueden compartir este video. Los que avísanme. Me, uh, me mandó un mensaje diciendo que ya compartió el video para que pueden entrar en la rifa. Déjame enseñarles de vuelta el regalo. Son los que comparten y si ahorramos más de 20 personas, este es el regalo de Tupperware. Y lo puede poner en el microwave. Y es original Tupperware, ¿ok? So, muy buena calidad. Ok, so para los que comparten, no se lo olvida a dejarme el mensaje en los comentarios o mándame un mensaje. Muchísimas perdón, por su apoyo, les agradezco, Dios me los cuida, mañana primeramente Dios vamos a tener, um, los pueden compartir hasta las 12 de la noche, a las 12 se cierra, mañana primeramente Dios les digo a qué horas vamos a hacer la rifa. Hey Norma, hi Noelia. Um, aquí ahora vamos a hacer la rifa y en vivo vamos a hacer la rifa para que vean que no es, va a ser todo legal. Thank you, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you for all the hearts, the love. Muchísimas gracias por su apoyo. Les agradezco. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Love